Hey guys, this is September the 21st, 2022. This is my second attempt to make this video. I've, I've tried before, I tried once before and I had a, I started having a sneezing attack. Um, I've been kind of uh, under the weather. I've been having some uh, upper respiratory infections and a lot of allergies and sinus infections. So uh, I haven't been online. I haven't been doing too much of anything, but um, I wanted to talk to y'all a little bit uh, today about, um, about the radiation and uh, what I've been noticing. Now, um, I know that I know it's been coming, been it's been coming through my electrical system for a, a long time. I don't even know how long, years, okay. Um, and it seems like every year it increases, the intensity of it increases. They they kind of turn up the volume on it, and you know, just still trying to make make us sick, but. Um, my nose, I mean, I've been dealing with this for so long now that my nose is like, it's like a built-in, I got a built-in sensor for the radiation now. I can, uh, I usually, I used to put the Vicks Vapor Rub in my nose, um, so, uh, in order to, uh, to detect the radiation or when it's around, but I don't even need that anymore. It's like my nose is, all, is tuned into it and, um, it don't matter where I go or what I do. If, 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 there, if there's radiation in somewhere where I go, my nose picks it up like instantly. And now I haven't always been that way, but I mean, I've always been sensitive to it, but it seems like now that I've been dealing with it so long, I'm, a, I'm extra sensitive to it now. And it's like, uh, I don't know how to explain it. It's just like, I can just sense it wherever. Wherever it's at, I can sense it. I know immediately when, uh, when, it's, when it's inside my house, when it starts being sprayed inside my house, I know instantly. I can detect it. My nose will let me know and I get up and I start opening doors or I start turning on the air purifiers or do whatever I have to do to try to clean the air in my home. So I'm kind of like, uh, a radiation detector now <laughs> but anyway what I want to say in this video is I have noticed that the radiation is everywhere okay has it always been everywhere well it's possible that it has always been everywhere but maybe not as it maybe it hasn't been this uh, this strong or maybe you know they're just turning it up I don't know but before, there were just certain places I could go to, and I would sense the radiation. Like if I'd go to somebody's house, and I'm sitting there talking to them, and the radiation hits, hits my nose, and, it, and instantly I know that their house, or the, the radiation from their electricity is, uh, <clears throat> is, is hitting me. Or uh, sometimes I would go inside um, service stations, you know, uh, or, or get gas, or go into service stations, and I and I was sense that I was sense the radiation inside the building, and I try to get out just just as quick as I can. And it used to be just every now and then, but now it's everywhere, folks. I mean, even when I'm driving down the the highway, if 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 I'm driving down the road in a, in a city a city where they got a lot of street lights on or a lot of red lights. The radiation is, it is through the roof. It is crazy. I mean, it hit, when it hits my nose, it's like my whole sinuses are just like on fire. And that's how I can tell the difference in the degrees. So all of these new red lights that they're putting up, all of these new street lights that they're putting up, these are all designed with the 5G to radiate us, to, to emit radiation out everywhere we go. Every, every place we go, everywhere we drive, the roads, we, everywhere. If you stand under one of these lights, 
or if you sit at a red light for long enough, you're going to get radiated. Just like they're doing this inside our homes. But the point I'm making is it's more intense now than it used to be. And I'm hearing more and more stories of people saying, well, well, Dad, you know, he just he just kept getting pneumonia and he kept and he, and, uh, he he'd get over it and then he'd get it again and uh, it, it just seemed like he just couldn't get rid of the pneumonia. It kept coming back and he made so many trips to the hospital, you know, and he just finally it just got the best of him, you know, and it killed him. Or or I hear other stories about well, you know, their breathing got her breathing got so bad to. Uh, until her heart just gave out, you know, her, and our, she just, you know, she was just sick all the time, you know, she just sick with allergies all the time, or, or uh, just always having problems with her, uh, her heart rate and her, uh, her blood pressure was always sky high, and, uh, and her cholesterol was always sky high, and she was always having uh, anxiety attacks and panic attacks, and, and she started having seizures, and, and just, all, all kind of weird, crazy things just started happening to people, you know. Just right out of the blue. People having heart attacks right out of the blue for no reason. Well, yeah. And you know, the bad thing about it is you can't sit down and you can't explain to these people what you know is happening. You can't tell them. For most people, they are not going to believe it. You cannot tell them. Well, you know what it is, don't you? You, you know what they're doing, don't you? You, you, you want to say it, but you, you know you can't because they don't believe it. They think it's oh well, it's just something that happened to them, or it's just something that's happened to me. It's not. It, but and look, folks, this has been going on forever. As far as I'm concerned, I believe that every sickness that's been going on forever is caused from this same thing from these chem from these uh, uh, frequencies electronic frequencies and electricity inside our homes think about it how long have we had electricity they've been doing this they've been killing us and making us sick and poisoning us for our whole lives the only difference now is that they're just ramping things up they're trying to do it quicker for some reason it's been going on forever. And yes, we all, in the past, I always thought, well, he had a bad heart. I mean, he just, he had a heart attack, so he just wasn't taking care of himself, or, or he wasn't eating right, or he wasn't doing, no. I don't believe that anymore. I believe this has been their agenda all along, was to hit people with these frequencies, give them heart attacks, give them strokes, give them brain aneurysm, give them seizures, give them diabetes, Give them high cholesterol, make their blood pressure go sky high. Get, uh, yes, they can do all of these things with frequencies, folks. They can. They have been doing it our whole lives, and they're just wrapping it up right now. They're cranking things up because they're not killing enough people fast enough. So, and just last week, um, I started going to see a new a lady, an elderly lady that I've been helping because she's uh, she's actually always done real good, but all of a sudden, all of a sudden, she just started having breathing problems, and she started having a lot of uh, heart palpitations. You know, her heart her heart was just racing away, and she started having uh, pain in her chest. She started having heaviness in her chest and breathing problems. And uh, now she's got bad anxiety attacks and panic attacks. Panic attacks, and um, her son uh, needs need somebody to go over and help her. Just help her cope, you know. So I've been going over and helping this. This. This is another person that I've been working with lately, which is another reason why I've been so busy. But I've been going over and helping her. And I'm gonna tell you guys something. I always make it a point to not say anything about what I know, okay, because especially if it's somebody that I don't know, I mean, you can't just go in somebody's house and say, oh, your house is filled with radiation, you got to get out, you, got, you know, you can't do that, okay, you can't do it, but the minute I entered her house, okay, 
I wasn't there five minutes when the radiation hit my nose. Instantly, I knew, okay, I knew instantly what was wrong with this lady. I knew that she was being uh, radiated with the radiation coming through her electrical system. And I could, I could smell it coming out of her electrical outlets. I could sense it coming out of her internet router that she had sitting right. And this is another thing. These old people, they don't know that there's any danger. And having your internet router sitting right there next to your cable TV and pointing straight at you when you're sitting in your recliner, they don't see any harm in that. They have no idea the EMFs that are coming off of that, not only from the TV, but from that internet router. And that's hitting them in the chest and hitting their whole bodies, hitting them in the head. And then they, and then they wonder, so I start wondering why, why they're sick. Well, maybe in the past it didn't really didn't really uh, cause that many problems. I believe it did, but not as many as it's causing now because they're ramping up the frequencies, you know, they're cranking them up. And so sitting in front of a router, an internet router, is the same thing as just sitting right there in front of the 5G frequencies, because that's what it is. And also these LED lights that people got inside their homes, these, these new LED lights that everybody's going, uh, bong bong over and crazy about they just got to have in their homes they're getting in their homes that's overhead led lights oh yeah they're beautiful they're beautiful and they give out a lot of light but you sit under them for a few minutes and put a little bit of menthol up and up next to your nose and see what happens you're going to have a big chemical reaction because the radiation that comes off of those led lights is massive my sister, my own sister, whom I can't go see anymore because her house is so full of radiation, she recently had the new LED lights installed in her root, in her ceiling. She just had to have them. And she had them installed in her kitchen table. But every time I go over there to her house to see her, the radiation hits me the minute I sit down and I can't stay more than five minutes. I have to get up and leave. I said, I can't stay here. Well, what's the matter? She don't sense it. And she has no idea the danger that she's in. Now, I have talked to her about it. She knows what I'm going through. But she, she's like, oh, well, you know, it doesn't really hurt me. And she doesn't realize, she doesn't realize that it's hurting her, okay? And right now, it may not be hurting her like it is me. But if she... If she's exposed to it for any length of time, eventually she'll start having some of these symptoms, especially if they raise the frequencies inside her home. I don't believe that they're raising the frequencies on everybody's smart meters like they do on some of us. I think some of us are like test experiments. They're experimenting with some of us. And some of us have got the... Uh, I've got, uh, they've got everything cranked up the highest volume they can, highest frequency they can get. And then other people, they haven't really, they haven't really hit them yet. They haven't really turned things up on them because they're still doing tests with some of us. I'm definitely one of the experiments. I'm one of them that they're experimenting with. But anyway, back to what I was saying. Uh, I'll go in the insurance office. I'm sitting down in the insurance office and I'm looking around and uh, there's only one girl in the office. There used to be like 10, <laughs> 10 or 12 girls that worked there. And I'm looking around, there's only one girl in the office. But at the same time, I'm sensing this radiation coming. <coughs> there's radiation coming uh, from the electrical outlet that I'm sitting next to in the chair and it's hitting me in the nose. And um, here I'm trying to, <coughs> I'm trying to get through painter so I can get out of there. But then I ask her, I say, well, what, what's, are y'all short-handed? And she says, yes. And uh, I say, what's going on? And she says, everybody's out sick. Everybody's out sick with the COVID. And some people have even died. I said, oh, I said, well, 
You do know that this building is full of radiation, right? And she looked at me and she said, how do you know that? We've been, we've been sensing some kind of chemical in here, but we couldn't figure out where it was coming from. I said, well, it's coming from your electrical system. Uh, a majority of it is, and some of it's coming from your electronic devices, but it's definitely radiation. She says, how do you know it's radiation? I said, because I've been dealing with it now for going on three years. And it's in my house, it's everywhere I go. I can pick it up, I'm like a sensor for it now. I told her that, I just felt like I needed to tell her that. She was a stranger to me, I didn't know her, but it might give them some clue as to why all these people are out sick with the COVID and maybe they can look into it and test the radiation level. And so, um, that was the insurance office and somewhere, I, oh yeah, I went to a funeral. I went to a wake. I didn't go to a funeral, I went to a wake for a friend of mine at a church. And I walked in the church and I was sit down and was talking to some friends and bam, the radiation hit me. And I said, oh God, here we go. It was so bad in this church. And listen folks, if you go to church, okay, and I'm not knocking church, you need to know if you go to church, that the churches, okay, the churches in this country are the no, are not, not the number one, but one of the biggest target areas that they are hitting because I know of three churches in my, my town alone, my little town, that have shut down, had to shut the doors because of the COVID being so bad and uh, chemicals, they say, chemicals being released inside the buildings. So the churches, this is an attack on Christians. This is how they're attacking Christians, but it's not just Christians that they're attacking. That's just one, one, that's just one of them. They're attacking everybody. But I just want the people to know that if they think the churches are safe from the devil, they're wrong. The churches are being attacked massively on a massive scale. But anyway, the radiation was so bad inside this church, I had to get, I had to leave. I could not even stay and finish my conversation with my friend. I had a handkerchief over my nose and I, and everybody was like, nobody else was detecting it but me. It was like, I know it's not just hitting me. No, it wasn't just hitting me. It was in the whole building. Because when I walked through the door, I, I sensed it. It was already there when I got there. So, and that was in a church. So I had to leave. Other places I've been to, the same thing. I'll go to friends' houses. I go to my friend's house, I sit down on the couch, and bam, the radiation starts hitting me. And I tell them, you got radiation in your house. Really? Really? I got, yeah, yeah, you got radiation in your house. Well, what do I need to do? Well, you need to start getting rid of some of your electronic devices, and you need to start eliminating some of the, some of the power inside your house if you can. I mean, that's, that's, the, that's the best way to start. And listen, folks, the only way to eliminate it the only way to eliminate the radiation completely is to get rid of all your power. Get rid of your electricity that you got, your smart meter. Get rid of all your electrical wiring in your house. Get rid of all your power. Get rid of all your electrical devices. Get rid of everything in your house that's battery operated. Get that's the only way to get rid of it completely. So you see how impossible it is to escape it? You have to throw everything out. That's the only way. I'm constantly going around at night unplugging stuff and trying to figure out what kind of power source they're using tonight. Are they using the batteries in my flashlight? Are they using or hooking up to my phone? Uh, the power's off in my bedroom. Are they using my fan? Or what are they, you know, are they, are they hooking up to the extension cord? I'm uh, constantly, I'm up all night long trying to figure out where the power source is, how they're getting, the, how they're spraying me with the radiation inside my home. Because all my electrical outlets are covered, the power is completely off in my bedroom, okay? So, uh, they have to find another power source in my house somewhere to hook up to, and they can hook up to anything. 
They can hook up to something in another bedroom in the other part of your house. They can hook up to the power to something you've got in the other bedroom and then trans, uh, 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 move that, uh, transport that energy from that room to your bedroom so they can hit you. They can do that. They've got the weapons. they got the technology to do that. So anything in your house that's got a power source, that is a power source, they can connect to. And they will use it if you get rid of, if you, uh, if you get rid of your, uh, your main power source, like if you cut the power off at the breaker, and you cut the power off at the breaker inside your house, and everything's off inside your house, that's still not going to solve your problem because they're going to hook up to, like I said, anything in your house that has a battery, and I'm talking about even the smallest device, the smallest device with a battery, even a remote control, they can produce a, a massive amount of radiation from that. I found out it seemed like the smaller the device, the stronger it is, and I don't know why that is. But they hook up to my remote control, they hook up to my phone, they hook up to my uh, flashlight. And I even found out they can hook up to the, uh, my USB uh, uh, little uh, plug-ins that I have, and I didn't, I didn't really think that they had a power source in them, but they do. They got some kind of, they got a circuit board in them. They can hook up to, uh, to your BSB, your, uh, your jump drives. If you got one of them laying around, they can, they can connect to that. If you got uh, a battery, just a regular battery, with. It doesn't even have to be anything. They can hook up to that. Uh, any any lights, any any light in your house, they can use that. They love lights. If I turn on my lamp, that's the first thing they hit is, my, is the lights. They can hook up to a, a night light, uh, a radio, uh, a radio that's got a light in it. Uh, anything that's got a power source. Anything. They hooked up to my uh, weather, my little weather station that has a battery operator. They hooked up to that. It took me the longest time to figure out they were hooking up to that. Uh, they were hooking up to the uh, uh, the uh, smoke alarms. I didn't when I turned off my power in my house. I didn't think about the batteries and the smoke alarms. They were hooking up to the batteries in them. They were hooking up to the batteries on the outside of my house to my uh, security cameras. I had to rip all them off my house. Like I said, they were hooking up to the electrical outlets outside. They were hooking up to the lawnmower battery. They were connecting to the batteries in my truck and my car. Uh, they were connecting even to my generator outside. They were connecting to that. Anything, like I said, even if you, even if you turn off your power to your house, they're still going to use any other alternate power source you have to beam you with the EMF radiation to try to make you sick, okay? So, when I say it's everywhere, folks, it is everywhere, and there's no way to escape it. I don't know, honestly, but by the grace of God, I mean, we're all still alive, but I really don't know how we're going to escape it unless God intervenes because this 5G stuff is coming up everywhere. They just put up two new 5G towers uh, uh, about a, a two miles from my house. And I got people telling me, well, they just put a 5G tower up across the street from my house. Uh, and if you, got a, if you got a security light in your backyard at the power company that you pay the power company to have, they are using those to beam you inside your house with. It, anything, like I said, anything that has a power source, they're using it. So, uh, frequencies, the radiation is everywhere. The frequencies are hitting us. The microwaves and the radio waves that are coming from these frequencies, they come at you like on all corners, all corners. So, if you get into, if you're in the middle of town and all of a sudden you start getting sick, you start hurting or you start having trouble breathing, or you start getting dizzy, it, it, it's possible that the waves, the microwaves, the radio waves, plus the radiation from them, they're all hitting you at one time. 
there are things you can do about this, and I've already talked about it. You can do the um, you can do the body armor. You can put the body armor on uh, and wear it when you go to town. You can do the earplugs and the hat. You can do all that. And I really believe, folks, because because they're increasing uh, and the five G is steadily going up everywhere. I really believe that it, in the very near future, everybody's going to either have to wear the ten foil hats and the ten foil body suits, or they're not going to survive. I really believe this. <laughs> anyway, this is just a heads up to let people know. They're wrapping things up. They're cranking it up. The radiation is everywhere. Just know whether you can sense it or not. Because most people can't. Just know that wherever you go, you're going to be hit with the microwaves. You're going to be hit with the, freak, the, with the radiation from the microwaves. You're going to be hit with the radio waves. You're going to be hit with the 5G, okay? And if you're not prepared, if you're not prepared for it, you, nobody should leave their house or even inside your house. Nobody should even think about going through their day without protecting their body and their head, and protecting their selves from what is clearly all around us, okay? This is clearly all around us, and it's not going away anytime soon unless God intervenes. So everybody should start preparing to protect themselves from what is clearly hitting us on all levels. It's hitting us at night while we're sleeping. It's coming through our windows. And look, even if you cover your windows like I got mine covered, they still can get through the cracks. They're still somehow managing to get around the cracks uh, around the, uh, the bubble pool and stuff that I got over my window. It still goes through it. So uh, it, it, it's like, it's like the losing battle. I mean, I don't, I'm really concerned about what is it, what, what's it coming down to? I mean, what, we're all, people who don't realize it, we're all very slowly being exterminated, folks. We're being exterminated with this electricity, with these weapons, these electronic weapons. They're using it to exterminate us. I don't know what else to say or how, how clear, to, I don't know how I can make it any clearer. They're killing us, okay? Be aware of this. And when you get up in the mornings, know that you've got to protect yourself because they don't care about you. They don't care about us. This is their plan. So, once again, our only hope is to stay heart-centered in meditation, stay connected with God, make sure, make sure you have your connection with God and that you're staying heart-centered in love and that you're choosing love over evil. Every time you make sure you choose love. That's all, folks. I love you guys.